What did you hear from people here? What were they saying to you? I was hearing loud and clear from people. They love their doctors in Minnesota. They like their providers in Minnesota, but they know that we have a broken system in this country in which uh, children that are born um, with uh, a pre-consisting uh, condition may never be able to access health insurance in their lives, in which we have people acc accruing credit card debt in order to just go to the doctor. I mean, that that's wrong, and we have an opportunity in Washington to reform our health care system to make sure that people can access health care in this country, quality health care, with, without, uh, without losing their homes. So what is the solution? I mean, that's a very simple question, but I'm sure it has a complex answer. We have to reform, uh, in part, the Medicare reimbursement system, which we were here talking about today. Right now, we have a system that reimburses inefficiency at, at a much higher cost and penalizes, penalizes states like Minnesota, which have put in uh, reforms which provide good patient care and have actually proven a lower cost. Uh, President Obama has talked, well, many people have talked about a public option or single payer, both different things, but having a public option in this bill, is that a thing that you want, don't want, or not sure of? I support a public option, uh, but the public option, as it moves forward, needs to address these reimbursement inequities that harm Minnesota, as I pointed out. But the reason why I do support a public option moving forward is that's going to be the check and balance. You know, a lot of the insurance companies have come forward now and said, you know, we're not going to count pre-existing conditions against people. We'll go ahead and enroll them. Without a public option out there to be the check and balance, I'm a little skeptical that 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 would happen and then there are uh, individuals who go through economic um, you know tragedies as many families are going through right now where a public option provides that safety net for continuous care um, through their lifetime this weekend President Obama said that we have to do something now this is a time uh, in fact I think he's looking at the window through the end of the month maybe even that uh, things need to be need to happen is that how you see it, and do you think that will happen? I agree with President Obama. There's great urgency in this country. I mean, we heard from people who have children that have pre-existing conditions that can't um, uh, access health care after they're no longer on their family plan. We heard from uh, seniors who can't afford um, the, their copay on their drugs when they fall through this donut hole. Uh, that Congress, I didn't vote for that bill, but that Congress um, did in Medicare Part D, that, that needs to be fixed. There's a lot that needs to be done. Um, I believe that this is the time, this is the opportunity to do it. But one of the things, as you know, President Obama's talked about is making sure that we are cost effective with the taxpayers' dollars and with the people who are going to be paying premiums. That's one of the things Minnesota's shown it can do, be cost effective and deliver high quality care. And that's what the message I'm taking back to Washington. Last question. I heard very briefly when I walked into the room people talking about the uh, the cutbacks here in Minnesota health care, the dollars that are no longer to be spent by uh, the state uh, starting very soon. Is there anything that Congress can do to help that, or is that beyond what uh, the purview of what you can do? Congress has already done quite a bit to help um, in these hard economic times in the stimulus package with uh, covering uh, up to 60% of uh, COBRA pays. That's it. when people lose their jobs, sometimes they can still pick up their health insurance. Congress is picking up that difference. Congress is uh, working towards uh, helping uh, pay for uh, the implementation of medical records, which will show great, great efficiency. And reforming the system will help, uh, help as well. But that's why I'm here fighting so hard for Minnesota, because without re reforming the Minnesota and the Medicare reimbursement system, we will find Minnesota left behind in being able to pr uh, provide the high quality delivery our citizens expect. Okay, thank you. What can our people who are watching on the uptake, can, is there anything they can do about this to solve it? They can call their members of Congress, they can call um, the, the Senate, they can call their friends and neighbors all across this country saying, we want good health care and we know we can have it if we all focus on it together as Americans. And um, the time is now.